Hi guys, welcome to Tech Trick Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Leonardo AI Image to Image. Use Image as Prompt Leonardo AI Tutorial. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I will be teaching you on how you will be able to use the feature Image to Image by Leonardo. So let's not go all over the place and let's get started right away. To get started, you're first going to have to open the AI Image Generator of Leonardo by clicking this AI Image Generation over here. Open it in a new tab and you will see your AI Image Generator page over here. Now in this page, you will need to find or you will need to use an image to use as a basis for the AI. That is basically the feature of Image to Image. So let me Disable some of the requirements over here like the prompt magic and alchemy And as you can see, this is the feature that we will be using The image to image will basically use the image that you will have as a basis You could use this for copying a specific style or copying a specific photo Using it as a reference for the image that you will be generating So let's go over here on the home page what I'm going to try and demonstrate to you in today's video is by demonstrating how you will be able to copy a style of a specific photo. For example, over here on our homepage, these are the different trending photos right now. And we could check out that each and every one of them has their own unique style. So what we could do is we could download them or one of the photos and use them as a copy or use them as a reference for the output that we will be generating. For example, over here, we have this Asian tattoo over here. Cool Asian design for red, white, black, and trees and the moon. You can see here. And this one is created using Leonardo Diffusion. So we could download this. And we could go back here and upload it. Here we go. And now, Leonardo will use this as a basis for our output. And as you can see, there will be an extra settings over here, which is the init strength. The higher the init strength, the more it will preserve the original image. So this is the, basically the original image. And then you could add or you could change different things. So for example, uh, a farmer on a boat on a lake with a big moon. Then click on generate. And this is our output over here. It's generating two images right now. And... Uh, let's see the output that we will be able to get. While waiting for this, let's go check out another style that we might want to recreate. For example, I have this uh, style over here. Let's try and use this as our style. And let's download this image as well. And let's see. Here we go. It's now downloading. We could go back here to our image generator. And as you can see, this is our output over here. It's not going to be perfect. Uh, we use absolute reality, so I think it's a good idea to use Dream Shaper 7. But you get the idea, it will use this as a reference or as a basis to build the output or the build uh, photo that you ask it to build. So let's try again. Let's generate. This time it will use Dream Shaper so it has more freedom with the creativity. While waiting for this, uh, we have selected this right. So we could go and ask uh, Leonardo to reduce or a huge waterfall from clouds but there, uh, there we go as you can see this one's pretty good actually uh, we have a farmer on a boat and it took the shape of this output that we had over here as the image to image so let's delete this let's upload our other photo over here there we go we have this style over here so we have a huge waterfall from clouds and let's click on generate and let's see the output this time that will be produced with this version. And I saw a style that I would like to have as well earlier. And where is it? Uh, let's go back to our home over here. And it's on the top. The top one. This one over here. I would like to recreate this or have this style. So click on download. Go back here. Uh, and there we go. As you can see. We were able to get the style of this very artistic waviness over here. And we were able to produce something like a waterfall 
made of clouds or from clouds you can see very nice it has a lot of artistic values you can see here it's a very useful tool for you to use if you want to retain some of the style of an image that you saw so let's put this other one over here there we go we have this this time let's put in a skull on a marble plate click on generate let's see the output we will have this time and i think on this output that i'm trying to produce right now i would need to lower our its rank for a tiny bit but let's see the output that we will be able to produce with this level of edit strength. And let's see. There we go. We have the skull with the style over here. Uh, it's a pretty pretty good decent output. But I would prefer if it's only one skull. So let's. Uh, we might want to add some negative prop over here. So let's say multiple skulls. Duplicate. Something like that. And. Instead of a uh, skull, uh, let's say, let's put earth instead. Uh, or earth. Then let's put over here, earth. Multiple earth and duplicate. So I'll click on generate. Let's see the output that we will have. And let's see if we will be able to retain the style that we would like to retain. I think out of our outputs right now, this one has been the best output that we were able to produce. A very nice cloud waterfall with colorful effects and as you can see we now have like an earth over here supposedly so let's lower our init strike over here to one click on generate and let's see the output for this second try or third try for this specific design and you get the potential of this output or this feature that we have over here for leonardo you could do a lot of stuff with it and as you can see, unfortunately, this one is a bit funkier because we lowered our init strength. So we weren't really able to get a good output. Let's try 50. 51. And let's say earth in the middle of an apple. I'll click on generate for our last generation for today's video. And let's see the output that we will be able to get. And so far, uh, I tried the one with the moon effect, which is the one over here below, this one over here, and this were the images that we were able to produce. And we have this one, which is a very creative output. We use this one over here, colored waves. And I think the colored waves has a lot of potential. Downloading or using photos of viewer design, for example, this one is a very effective output as well. But as you can see, uh, this time we weren't able to change anything from the out so that's basically it that is how you will be able to use the image to image prompt of leonardo if you find this tutorial helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribe so thanks for watching